no, we're not having a market crash. No. Nope. So, don't we? We're going to prove it to you. Well, sort of. Anyway, don't go away. We'll be right back with the market report from May of 2024. And please like this video and subscribe to this channel so you're updated every week with new videos and every month with these market reports. We'll be right back. I was with a customer the other day and she's an intelligent woman, you can tell. And we're talking about the price of the house that she was looking at. And it, it was a, you know, a high priced house. And she said, no, no, I don't want to buy that house at this price because the market's going to crash. And she sounded so sure, so sure. But I don't normally get into those heavy discussions when showing property. That's a, that's a sit down face to face discussion. And especially if it has political intonations because she, she went started to go in that direction. So yeah, we do have a, an election this year and that does complicate things, but nobody really knows. Right, we don't know. We don't know that it's not gonna crash, but we don't expect it to. All we can go is by go by is, is data. the yeah. data that we are given and I every month. I think some markets in other states are more sensitive to political election years. I don't think this area has been as impacted by those. Things. The demand. I think it's all yes. about demand. Yes, it is. So here we go. In Sarasota County, our demand is still there. We had an increase of 3.4% in total sales. Then we see a 3.9% increase in the median home sales price. So the prices are not going down. Now I will, I will say that in a certain price range that, and, and I'm looking for customers that want a home in the low price ranges to the high prices. So does Judy. We, we're, we service anybody that's looking for a home. And I've seen in the 350 to 450 price range, people are still putting their homes on the market at too high of a price right. in that range. And so the price decreases are apparent. Right, correct. You know, right. uh, pretty and steadily. Those homes tend to be more heavily mortgaged more dependent on the interest rate, and that's why that sector is a little more effective. That's a as good well. factor. Yeah. yeah, it's usually not. Uh, uh, it, it could be a first-time buyer, um, somebody that that is looking to use an FHA product, or maybe the hometown I was heroes. I going to say that. Yeah. Listen, watch this video up here because we did this a couple of weeks ago, and it's it's all about the hometown heroes program. $35,000 up to right. $35,000 in down payment assistance. Just go to that yep. video. It's a free loan. You pay it back eventually, but it's zero interest. Zero. Helps you get in the home, keeps your overall payments lower. It's got a competitive rate. It's it's worth looking into. Okay. okay. Segue back there. To this. <laughs> back, back to this. Back <laughs> to the market report for May, 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 May. May, May, May. <laughs> 43 days time to contract from year over year that's 72% increase things are staying on the market longer and we have a five month supply in single family homes so on the condo scene in Sarasota we have 423 closed sales which is a decrease of 4.1% we see a little we actually this this price decrease of 9.1 percent for condos down to 368 is significant i'm not sure i can explain that um maybe there's not as many high-end condos that that close right because we saw that huge influx um, of downtown sarasota condos closing yeah we can and we've had a lot more um yeah inventory that sold right so yeah yeah um 61 days to contract better price it right if you need to sell 
and we have 6.3 months. That's the other reason why we're seeing a, a decrease um, in prices because the more there is on the market, the more competition you have. Right. So it's still an increase. It's an increase certainly from last year, 80% increase. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, and what's going on in Manatee? Manatee County um, mirrors Sarasota a good bit. Um, closed sales, we had 801 single family home closed sales. Again, which may or may not include new home sales because they don't all get recorded. Um, but that's, I mean, a 0.2% decrease. So we pretty much held even on closed sales. Yeah, I wouldn't even say that that's a decrease. Yeah. Um, medium price went up um, almost 2% to 525000 um, again, a lot of our new builds are in that range. Um, time to contract is a little higher, so that's how many times, how many days your home's on the market before you receive and accept a contract. That's at 45 days now. Um, that's a good increase. That's about 40% increase uh, from May of last year. Mm -hmm. And then month supply, we we're at 4.1 month supply, which is a good increase, a 50% increase, 52%. Uh, and um, from last year, from last year. I, I think that's down from last month. I think, yeah, I think it's from, or from April, right? Yeah, and again, when we talk months, this is a strange concept. When we're at six months, we're at a balanced market, yeah. so we still have advantage seller in this area. Um, our condo sales in Manatee County are down um, May to May at 264 units. And the median price is down about five and a half percent at three hundred sixty-one and a half thousand dollars. Um, and time to contract for the condos is up at fifty-six days. Again, we have a little more variety to look at. Right. And um, so that's up a good bit. And then our month supply is pretty balanced um, at six point three months, and that is up significantly from May of twenty twenty-three. Um, we do have some new laws. Um, a couple of years ago, we had new condo laws go in where condos of a certain height had to be assessed. Three, and three, three or levels more. or yeah, more. Yeah. And the, um, they have to have an engineering assessment uh, or inspection and determine if they need to do a financial assessment to get their reserves where they need to be to resolve any problems right. or any expected future problems. And that's one of the things many condos were lacking, which is why we think there's a little dampening in mm -hmm. demand mm -hmm. because either condos that are for sale now currently have a large assessment where when you buy this condo, you pay an extra $5,000 or whatever the number is um, to help go toward future repairs or um, they spread it out. Yeah. And you just, the yeah. fees, fees just are high up. Yeah. So that's one of the things we think is affecting condo sales or just the uncertainty of people not understanding that law um, mm -hmm. are concerned. Um, Susan also brought up that just as of July 1st, I think we have some new HOA laws mm -hmm. that actually give a little more decision making information back to the homeowner. So, we're waiting to see how that all right. tickles down. Right. Um, but so our condo sales are a little off. Um, also, a lot of people who are buying condos to work remotely and keep their other home can no longer do that. I think that was a big part of our condo sales a couple of years ago. You're probably people right. were going, I'm going to work, I'm going to stay in there for a couple of months and run in another six months. But a lot of that I think is calmed. Right. So, people yeah. are back in their offices. Yes, I had a customer, um, we sold their home here because for three years she could work here and suddenly a new manager said no, everybody has to come back across the country. So they sold their home here that they love. Uh, they'll be back someday. But, so point, yeah. point, if you are one of those people that is remote, remotely working and you're buying a new home, your lender or a builder's lender may require you to get a letter. Ah, from your employer sure. that says you are guaranteed 100% a remote job. And, and that's worked for some of my customers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, We don't see it by everybody, but it's something to be aware of. Right. Um, to be sure that that's a good move for you. Yeah. Right. Anything else about the market? The trends are continuing just as they have in the past. We're still seeing new home communities being announced. 
um, new phases being developed from the current ones. Um, right. Things are still moving along out here. Now the builders are a little slower. A little slower. And they are offering incentives for people that are coming in. And mostly for financing. True. Yep. And and they're even offering incentives for realtors. And they pay the incentives. Yes. And they pay our commission. Yes. yes <laughs> so don't worry about that. Uh, yeah. And and not all builders. I mean, there's some very strong builders that aren't don't have to. Yeah. We're so, going to talk about that in the next video that we do yeah. about 55 plus communities. So we're going to wrap this up with that note. Watch the next video on 55 plus communities. Judy's done a lot of research. We're going to give you an update and let you know what's coming down. So until the next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.